Thanks, thank you. All right. Now let's let you know what the results of this crusade was. Now first of all, I want to let you know what the results include. These include deaf students, teachers, students, and adults who with HIV, atheists, prison inmates, entire families, families of inmates, and so on. Special ed children. All included here. And understand too, because I, I want to be very clear with this. People can give big numbers and things like that, and, and, and I'm, we're very careful with that. I don't, people have asked me how many people were at the crusade. I don't know. Uh, we didn't, obviously, I'll just say a lot. Uh, but a lot of people made decisions for Christ, and that's what's important. We know that Jesus and God, the angels, celebrate when one soul gives their life to Christ. Well, I want to know how much they're celebrating now from 21,000 21 souls who made decisions for Christ. I just gave you our handwritten decision cards that we're going to turn over to the Jamaican leaders to follow up with, which is very important. Is Miss Rosemary Johnson here? Is Miss Johnson here? I want to invite Miss Johnson here if she's, uh, if she's in, the, in, the, in the house. Somebody holler if Miss Johnson's here. Okay, she's not in here. All right. Okay, she got she she stayed in Jamaica. Okay, Miss Johnson is the regional minister of tourism that was on the planning committee, and I wanted to bring her up. Since she's not here, we're just going to do this. I want to invite you guys to come up. We're going to lay hands. I want everybody to stretch their hands toward this bucket here of souls. Let's open it up. Take the lid off. I'm going to let Martin Houston from our staff pray. When he finishes, we're going to start. We're going to go into my tribute, and we want everybody to sing along with us. I want to just say this really quick. You know, we celebrate when we read about the 3,000 souls that were saved on the day of Pentecost. How cool is it going to be when you get to heaven and you get to sit around and tell the apostles? Let me tell you what we did. See, Jesus promised that we would do greater works. And he said, he who sows wise, uh, save souls is wise. So I'm telling you, you're part of the world's largest mission trip, and I'm going to bet this is one of the largest, wisest group of people you've ever been around at one time. Because Jesus said, he who wins souls is wise. And I want to give you a hand for what you did to help change Jamaica forever. Amen. I know that we have, you know, that we've, we've made we've made it known that the Jamaican people said they wanted to pray for sixty thousand souls, and I want to tell you how we're going to get to sixty thousand. First of all, the follow up that happens from this school, they're not just going to the schools to follow up; they're going to follow up with the families of these children that made these decisions. But also, I think we got some unfinished business. What do y'all think about coming back to Jamaica? to bring it back. We worked in Bahamas when we went back a second time, don't you think? Let's bring it back. Amen. If you would just extend your hands, can you believe 21,000 plus souls? And now that y'all didn't get that, I don't care if you hear me pray, because Jesus can. 21,000 
Thank <laughs> you.